Airbnb has introduced a new tool for you to run a Wi-Fi speed test straight from the Airbnb app, see the results and save them into your Airbnb listing. Yet, there are two big mistakes that you should not be making. Let's dive straight into it. So there's been a bigger need for Airbnb guests to know about Wi-Fi speed. Um, for example, they may like to see movies on Netflix, but as well, they may want to do some remote working. Since the pandemic, a lot of people have been using Airbnbs to stay in great places to be able to work and also to enjoy a new destination. Similarly for hosts, there's a big need to display the Wi-Fi speed and to go beyond just saying, well, it's fast. So Airbnb had to give an answer to both guests and hosts around Wi-Fi speed. So enter the new tool that Airbnb has introduced. It's available straight into the Airbnb app, not on the website, but in the, in the app. And for the moment, it's available mainly in the US, but it's being rolling, rolled out across different countries. So this tool enables you to do the test straight from the app and to save the results. The first mistake that you should not be making is that you should actually don't for, not forget that you have to be at the property to do the test, right? Airbnb wants you to be at the property so that you can open the app and run the test when you're at it. So you can't do this remotely. And the second mistake, which is actually connected to this, Airbnb also wants you, before you do the test, Airbnb wants you to have filled in a field within the information for guests where you give the Wi-Fi network name to your future guests. As you know, when people uh, book your place, they will get some information from you. For example, you may send them check-in instructions or uh, Wi-Fi name, network name and password. To do the test, you have to uh, had indicated in the uh, info for guests the name of your Wi-Fi network because this is the Wi-Fi network that Airbnb will be testing. So if you don't do that, you'll have to uh, go back and do it. So it's a must have. So don't forget to do it before you run the test. So if this is all done, it's quite simple then. Just open the app, go to the listing you want to um, edit and go to the amenities list. Click on amenities and within the amenities list, look for Wi-Fi. There, click on edit Wi-Fi. You'll see an option about testing your Wi-Fi speed. Very simple, click on start test. We'll take a few seconds and after a few seconds, you will see the result. For example, Airbnb will tell you whether your Wi-Fi is solid and one or maybe two guests can work from there or whether it's snappy and people can do a bit more and actually do uh, have a you know, Zoom conversation with HD videos. The goal for Airbnb is really for you to understand that uh, the, the higher the Wi-Fi speed, uh, the best it is for uh, guests who want to you know, watch movies, play video games or work uh, on Zoom, for example. So once you see the results, it's very easy. Just you can click on update speed. Let's imagine you're happy with the result and you really proudly want to display this. You just need to click update speed and it will be saved and displayed into your listing. So once again, it's a very cool thing from Airbnb, right? Guests want to know about Wi-Fi speed. Hosts want to display Wi-Fi speed. Airbnb is just giving host a way to run a test straight from the Airbnb app, see the results, save the results and display them in the listing. If you want more tips on how to run your Airbnb business, just go to our website, rentalscale.com. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.